Carry me back to the place that breaks my heart, 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 whenever I leave. As frequent visitors to NYC, we're often asked by friends, family, um, what to do. Um, I'm not very good at advice, but I can show you what we enjoy doing. Hello, and thank you for joining us for yet another video on our experiences of NYC. Today we're going to be travelling on the Roosevelt Island Tramway. It's what we would call a cable car that runs between Manhattan and Roosevelt Island, which is in the middle of the East River. It runs parallel with the Queensborough Bridge, which runs between Manhattan and Queens. Now the Roosevelt Island tram was opened in 1976. You can get to it on the corner of 60th Street and 2nd Avenue. The nearest subway is Lexington 59th Street on the NQ and R train. Now if you already have an unlimited ride metro card you can use that and you can swipe in at each side. Otherwise you need to purchase a single ride metro card which is $2.75 currently. And you'll also have to buy another single ride to come back into Manhattan. Um, there's no return on this particular journey. Now this is a great way to see Manhattan from a different angle. Amazing views of the East River. We're riding on the tram now. We're looking north uptown. And we're just about to go over First Avenue. There's a building just coming into your view there. On the top you'll notice a car. I have no idea how that car gets up there. You also get to see a lot more of the famous New York City water towers. These started springing up in the late 19th century as buildings started going over six storeys and was an easy way to provide a usable water supply to the buildings below. Most of these are still in use, however there is one in Chelsea that has been turned into a bar. I should put a link up for you. Now, if you look closely you'll see the reflection in that building there. Now the tram's peak height is 250 feet and it travels at about 18 miles per hour. Now we're just about to cross York Avenue. The Roosevelt Tramway was had a big renovation project back in 2010. 25 million pounds spent on it and including new cars um, they are also equipped with blankets, water, food and a toilet with a privacy curtain. Below us you can see the Franklin D. Roosevelt East River Drive, what most people call the FDR Drive. Also just below your screen, you can't actually see it, um, there is a, a mock-up of a small roller coaster that was used as part of the Barclay Card advert. On the right hand side of the screen you can see the north part of Roosevelt Island. This is now mainly residential area. Now we're going to cut to the journey back, leaving Roosevelt Island. Originally this was known as Blackwell's Island. Until 1921 it became Welfare Island. It was home to hospitals, a lunatic asylum, a lighthouse and a smallpox hospital. Now the smallpox hospital is still there. I will show you a small clip of video of that in a, at the end of this video. It is an extremely beautiful building, but it is quite dilapidated, although it has had some money spent on it to try and preserve it. The 60s and 70s saw a huge boom in residential building on the island, and in 1971, it was renamed to its current name of Roosevelt Island. We're now looking south down to Lower Manhattan, and there in front of us, difficult to miss, the Queensborough Bridge, also known as the 59th Street Bridge. In 2010, it was officially named the Ed Koch Queensborough Bridge for the New York Mayor, who unfortunately died in February of this year. This cantilever bridge was finished in 1909. On the upper level, it has four lanes. On the lower level, it has five lanes. One of these lanes is dedicated for pedestrian and cycles. You can actually walk or cycle across the Queensborough Bridge. Now, looking down the river in the distance, you can just make out the Williamsburg Bridge. Towards the right hand side, there's a big tower, it's green, it's got a white edge, and that is the UN building. You may also just be able to make out a, a black monolith that is in the uh, 
sort of top right hand corner that is owned by my good friend Mr Donald Trump and if you would like me to review one of his penthouse penthouse suites there I'd be more than happy to do it um, and make a video about it there's lots of construction going on on Roosevelt Island at the moment it's just been bought and been redeveloped by Cornell NYC Tech so that I think there's going to be quite a few students on the island in the future as we look south here we can see that there's a lot of residential buildings here not a lot of affordable housing to be fair now the trip takes about 10 minutes each way you can get a little bus around Roosevelt Island which is very cheap it's something like 50 cents now in the top right hand corner you could just about make out the Chrysler building. The Chrysler building is quite a difficult building to get a great picture of. However, um, there's a spot on 49th Street and Lexington near the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, which is a, an amazing place to get pictures of this wonderful, iconic building. Unfortunately, you can't go in it and up it like you can the Empire State. So we've just crossed First Avenue. We're almost at the end of our trip. However, I haven't forgotten my promise of showing you the smallpox hospital. Um, that's going to come up in a moment. That's an approach road to the Queensboro Bridge. And as we make our way down, we're panning to the right there, and that is Second Avenue. We're just about to come into the tram station. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Please email me, paulmossnyc at gmail.com, or you can find me on Twitter at PMNYC2. We have now returned to 60th Street and 2nd Avenue. Take care.